Hello, this is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites and I'm going to do a quick tutorial on the uh, Shopify Buy button and that's a relatively new function but it is uh, basically the same thing as the Shopify widget uh, which was previously available as an app in Shopify. So uh, what you're going to do is in order to add the Buy button as a sales channel you have to go to settings so and then it will show up in your side menu here on the left hand sidebar so you have to go to settings you have to go to sales channels and you just have to enable uh, this sales channel uh, same thing with Pinterest and other uh, sales channels as well so uh, we've already added this but you'll just have add channel and then it will come up as an option on the sidebar so um, that's available in your settings. Now let's go ahead and take a look. If we want to take one of our products and we want to add one of these products to a blog post. Now we can add it to a blog post on Shopify or a WordPress site or another uh, site as well. And there's detailed instructions within the buy button on how to do that on each one. But I'm just going to show you really quickly how you can do it. So let's just go to the left hand menu. Now we have the buy button available as you've added it, added it as a sales channel and um, you just go to the upper right hand corner and you go create buy button so we're just going to uh, select this first product right here and then we're going to go select product and uh, it's going to create that buy button for you you can change the color of the button if you change it here it will change that color here uh, I'm going to keep this green but I'm just going to show you uh, what it would be if we changed it to a different color so we could change it to say blue for instance and you see it changes to blue over here on the right hand side so I'm gonna go back with the green that we originally had and we're gonna do that you can do a checkout which is what I like or you can do a cart or product page uh, and any of those will work now the checkout on this particular store is going to create it but we haven't set up the payments yet so it's not gonna um, when you click on it it will uh, give you an error until you have your payments set up. So I'm going to go, go ahead and generate this code just so you can see. And uh, it generates the code for us here and you can either highlight it and copy the whole thing or you can just copy it like this and then copy it to your clipboard. And then we go to our blog post. I've actually added it into this blog post but I'll do it again so it shows you how you do it. So if we go to, um, if we go to our online store right here we go to our online store and we go to blog post we're just going to click on this blog post and you can't just paste it in you actually have to do it paste it in the HTML so right here is where I've pasted it in uh, so there's this is what it uh, this is what it would normally look like before I had pasted it so I'm just going to go back and here it is and if I go here and hit enter after the last line if that's where I want to put it uh, I can just do uh, control V and paste it or if you're on Apple you can use the command button and then you just save it you're not actually going to see it within this blog post uh, but when you view it here you're gonna then you're gonna be able to see it um, this is actually basically it's a cart button contained within your site and I, as I said before payments are not set up on the site yet a hundred 100% but once that payment is set up then it will just go to the products page and then you can click on it and it will take you right to the cart page but I'll just show you when I click on it right now uh, that the checkout is not completely set up so you want to make sure that you set up the checkout completely and then once you do you can see uh, and I'll show you another example of a uh, store where I have a buy button uh, built into it. And what I like to do is I have people all the time who call me uh, before I put buy buttons into the products and this is one of the blogs on, on one of my sites and we put buy buttons in and this way they don't actually have to leave the blog to buy it. So they can click and this is what it will come up if you have your payment set up. It will come up right here with all of your information right in the cart page. So uh, it's very simple to set up. It just takes a couple minutes. Um, you can check out more tutorials at pinehurstwebsites.com uh, on my website and there's a link to pinehurstwebsites.com uh, in the description below this video. So thanks for tuning in. Hope this was helpful.